That was Chris Heinemann smiling on a Barbados beach next to his longtime partner Stephen Sabados, a photo he shared on Instagram just days before his body was found in an alley near his East Toronto home, a sad end to a glamorous public life and a shock to his friends. If I was utterly, you know, just gutted when I heard the news, I could not believe it. I'm not someone like Chris. You got your towel on and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Ottawa-born, Newfoundland-raised Heinemann rose from a department store makeup artist to one of the best-known design experts on Canadian television. He met his partner on and off the air, Stephen Sabados, while still in his 20s. By the early 2000s, the two had made their mark on the world of home decor, fashion and lifestyle, including branded merchandise and shows on specialty channels. He had such a love for, for the whole arena of glamour and he understood how to make that user friendly and he brought a certain level of glamour into the lives of Canadian women coast to coast. Today on Stephen and Chris. In 2008, the two began hosting Stephen and Chris, a daytime talk show on the CBC where Hindman's candor charmed audiences. Because we do fight, and, and as everybody does, and then sometimes you have to peel the corner and go like, Hi, We're everybody! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what yeah. I do is I just completely ignore him for the whole show. <laughs> that honesty helped the show cross borders and break boundaries. Come in here, come in right here. Shown in 17 countries, the show hosted by a real-life same-sex couple became a mainstream hit. CBC executive Jennifer Detman was Chris Heinemann's boss. I think that really did make an incredible difference, certainly um, in the U.S., where the show is syndicated. We heard a, a lot about that, and, we, and they got a lot of thank you. Uh, thank you for being, um, uh, thank you for sharing your lives with us. Thank you for being open about your relationships. CBC has pulled episodes of Stephen and Chris from its schedule and will determine the future of the show at a later date. Stephen Sabados hasn't spoken about his loss, but a public memorial is being set up at CBC's downtown Toronto building so fans can leave their condolences. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.